Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to Chakra Dance. I'm Natalie Southgate. And today I would like to talk a little bit about the power of rituals. Yeah. You know, I think it's something that in our modern day lives for very many of us, we just don't have that sense of, of reverence as much as we used to. And these rituals these kind of sacred ceremonies, you know, that um, that have been part of many of the great religions. Uh, but for, for many of us, there's been a loss, a loss of connection to, to this. And there's a lot of soul searching that therefore can, can go on and, and people not knowing how to, to find this inner connection. And essentially rituals and Carl Jung I studied to be a Jungian psych psychotherapist Carl Jung talks a lot about the power of ritual and you know he describes it as being almost like this 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 reverent safe container which is like a holding ground in a way for us to be able to come out of this sort of more outer world and come within in a safe way and really tap into our inner world, the world of our unconscious. What are the parts of ourselves that we're not in touch with? It could be feelings. It could be emotions. It could be memories. It could be more of that collective unconscious energy. And there's something about going into a ritual of some kind, which, which sets up this, this way, this space, this vehicle for us to to find it's almost that soul connection within okay and you know it's funny I was thinking about this and I thought this is what chakra dance actually is chakra dance is like a moving ritual it's very safe it's very contained it is about coming within and finding out what's what have you been what's buried within you that needs to is ready to be healed so that your life can can change and improve and it's, you know, it's made me think a lot about rituals and yes, chakra dance is, is one, one way, but even as something as setting aside 15 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, if it needs to be every day for a meditation, that can be your ritual where that's where you're saying, okay, I'm going to withdraw my senses from the outer world and I'm going to come within you might you might play a beautiful piece of music you might focus on your breath you might sit in your garden but it's actually that intention that sacred intention of creating a, a ritual a, a safe container a space something that has a beginning and an end a holding that allows your psyche your soul to to come out to come forwards for you to make this connection the whole point of Jungian psychology in a nutshell, is to form a relationship, communication between the unconscious and consciousness so that we can become the most whole, you know, person we can be. Develop, you hear that saying, you reach your fullest potential. <laughs> That's kind of what it is, okay, so that you can actually be the, the, the grandest, most fullest, most brightest, biggest version of you authentically that you can be and ritual is a it's a really amazing pathway for doing that even it might be a, a walk in in nature but you do it on with this intention this sacred intention of this is my ritual so I just wanted to come and riff a bit about rituals today just to to start planting a seed for you to once to start think about to think about where in your life you know, do you have rituals? Is there a way that you could develop them more? And if you don't have any, what are some simple ways that you can stick to uh, to start to bring this this ritual into your life and these these sacred intentions? So I hope this serves you. Many blessings.